Before we get started with this episode, I just wanted to point out that my friend Luna, aka Zion T Gaming, has now added some social media links, so please make sure that you go and follow her on YouTube as well as these various social media links, and let's show her some support. Thanks. And so, now that we've seen all that Mount Rokon has to offer, now we get to see the next step of it. By going to somewhere else entirely, but it's going to be quite a ride. Let's go ahead and speak with Shadow Moore to take on the quest entitled, Stranger from Paradise. Shadow Moore has a job for a certain adventurer. Rika, in move for an odd job, are we? Your arrival is most fortuitous, for I received a request for your assistance but a moment ago. It was written by Pasasun, a Thavnerian alchemist on behalf of an acquaintance of yours. What was his name again? Ah, uh, yes! Matsya! Rings familiar, I hope? Ah, uh, yeah, the Arkel Sadara fisherman. I wonder what he would be wanting. Good, good! It seems our fisher friend is in a spot of trouble, and this Pasasun believes you're the one to get him out of it. That is, of course, assuming you have room in your schedule. Yeah. I would gladly help a friend in need, especially to one on whom I'm indebted, or he doesn't want me to peddle his words again, does he? <laughs> but no, I don't think it's that. Well, say yes then. Thank you, Rika. While I myself am not familiar with the details of the request, Pasasun should be able to explain everything. I believe you can be found in the great work. Made the job proof free of hitches, hindrances, and headaches. Well, that'll be easier said than done, but let's see what we can do. Alright. So, let's be on our way to Thavnair, eventually, and to the great work. So, here's our man. Taking refuge from the rain, obviously. It's an aura. Oh, you must be Rika. Have the cleaners sent you here? Indeed they have. Very good. You have no idea how relieved I am that you've come. As you may have guessed, I am Pasasun. I work here as an alchemist at the great work and Matsya is one of my oldest and dearest friends. His is a problem which is proving quite difficult to unravel. Nevertheless, he is loath to ask you for help. And so, I took it upon myself to reach out to you without his knowledge. For both his sake and the sake of the little one fate has brought into our lives. Which one is that? He'll be alone soon to sell his most recent catch, which should prove the perfect opportunity to convince him that we require your aid. We'll be sure to catch his attention if we wait outside. Follow me, Rika. Not afraid of the rain there, Pasta Soon? Alright. Yeah, I do have an umbrella. I do have a spare umbrella if you want there, Mr. Pasasun. We're both gonna catch cold out here. Is that Rika? Why, I didn't know you and Pasasun were acquainted. Oh, uh, well, we are now. Yeah, Pasasun even wears glasses. Mr. Matsya, who is this mighty hunter? Her arms are thick, mighty roots, unlike Pasasun's limbs, seaweed limbs, are shrivel in the sun. Wow. That's pretty harsh. Also, you can tell that from the fact that I'm such a cute Mikote, and he looks like a big strong aura. I would have you know that I am an alchemist by trade. I work with my mind, not my body. And need I remind you, it was my knowledge which allowed me to nurse you back to health. Surely a little respect isn't too much to ask. Well, that's quite an introduction there. By the look on your face, I take you to understood Kalika's commentary. This is the little one I mentioned to you before. In spite of his forthright nature, Matsya and I have become quite sticky with him. Yeah, it's not a parrot, but he definitely fits the bill of a talking bird. I apologize for contacting Rika without consulting you beforehand. I know you didn't want to burden her with these troubles, but I'm afraid I see no other recourse. I don't think Matsya will mind. 
even out here in the driving rain. Well, since you come all this way, I suppose it would be foolish of me not to tell you everything. That is, of course, if you would like to hear it. I certainly would there, Matsya. What are you up to these days with your little feather friend? Very well. Several days ago, I found this tiny bird on the shore, breathing and faintly and unconscious. Boss soon and I took care of him and watched him day and night, unsure if he would ever awake. For mercy he did, and then, to our surprise, he spoke, Go to the southern isles. Why is that? What isles are these, you may wonder? Uh, Kalika, would you explain? Yeah, if you're able to. Certainly, Master Matsya. Your wish is my command. Oh, time for flashback. Or in this case, just checking out the map. The South Sea Isles, I believe your kind called them, were remote and mysterious, tis said. And over here, as we zoom in, I hailed from there, from one in the west by the name of Alo Alo. Do they have actual aloe there? It was home to a th people thousands of years ago of whom now no trace remains, save for a grand shrine, and the great statue of the speaker enshrined within. The statue was embedded with a glorious gemstone which bestowed vitality and beauty to the island. Nowhere else did nature thrive so. Long after the builders vanished, others were across the sea to bask in this bounty. However, a century ago, from the ocean deep rolling flames burst forth, forcing the residents of Alo, Alo to flee. And so the animals, who no longer had to fear the hunter's arrows, laid claim to the island's gifts. As the Alo healed, ravenous beasts grew plentiful, and the rivers became choked with fish. They breed and feast unchecked, and not even the speaker's blessing can forestall the island's gradual descent into a barren waste. Well, they're at least still remnants of their existence. As the speaker servant, it fell to me to go forth and save my dear home. So I rode upon the waves upon a floating coconut in search of a mighty hunter. Well, you found Matsya first. <laughs> Although the ocean could have swallowed me whole at any moment, I looked to the horizon without fear. I had feared that the speaker would guide me through, and I was right! Master Matsya is the very hunter who will save Alo Alo! You think he has what it takes? You see not the source of my distress. The very thought of facing a ravenous beast makes my trunk shiver in fear. But if you are the chosen one... But you could be the hunter our little friend seeks and sate your hunger for exploration besides. Admittedly, I did not ask because I thought such a trifling task would be beneath you, but... Yeah, that's where he cut him off right away. You had me at Grand Shrine, or... Well, if you went alone, you wouldn't come back. <laughs> Your concern for Master Matsya's well-being is plain, and I should be glad to call upon so accomplished a hunter as I am told you are. There is one catch, however. Master Matsya must come, you see. The speaker guided me into his embrace, and that is a sign I cannot ignore. Sad face. Yeah, and the rain basically adding insult to injury. I have ever had the soft spot for small defenseless creatures, and while I am in no man of action, I possess knowledge of the salt seas which may put wind in your sails as it were. Many of the fish native to the islands are prized for their rare properties and would make a fine gift for any alchemist. Itana would be most impressed if you were to brave unknown waters and bring her a few. And the, a, a gift? Uh, for Nidana? Uh oh. Does this mean Matsi has fallen in love with her? Y yes! I'll go! I'll go and find the plumpest fish I can find! <laughs> yeah, I think he's got the hearts for her. Is this where we start shipping? As for you, Rika, it seems I must burden you with my troubles after all. 
I know it's a lot to ask, but please, travel with me to Alo Alo Island. Yeah, I can do that for you. Master Matsya, you were your- Master Matsya, you were in the well! Every moment I become more certain of your success! Now let us depart before this swell of courage resides! Alo Alo is south from here as the upper trust flies. You will know it by the unusually lush canopies! No, Kalika, you must stay here. The wounds you have suffered yet, yet to heal. Ah, wah wah. Hmm, rather presumptuous of you to command me thus, but you are right. I can scarcely lift my wings for the pain. So who are we gonna put it in, in care of? Fear not, your instructions are more than clear enough to guide Rika and Matsya to Alo Alo Island. And so, since I can't accompany you, I'll see to the commissioning of a vessel for your voyage. Once you're ready to depart, let us rendezvous at Yed Lamar. Yed Lamar it is. And we'll see you there. And we're bringing Matsya along. Along with Kalika. Or Kalika, or however his name is pronounced. Yeah, it's just too bad I don't have spare umbrellas for you. Meanwhile... Someone's been overhearing our conversation. Alala fell and her companions. Or his companions, possibly. Yeah, who goes there? Who are we dealing with? Yeah, we've even got a female Mikote and a male Rogadin amongst them. Did you hear that, Zilzane? A true beggar than you, just waiting for someone to sell to that island and give it a new home! Oh, so you're supposed to be Locke or something? Can't say I made it out every little bit, Ijame, but I got the salient points. Treasure in the South Sea Isles right for the plucking eye. Yeah, he's gonna get into the Zozone indeed. Seems you're onto something with this wild chocobo chase, Wasbrin. Rumors of wild riches rarely pay off this well. Like, oh, but that lot might be after the same thing. Maybe in for some competition. He yeah, seems timid. No need to get your small clothes in a twist over one fisherman in his hired help. These ears aren't just for show, you know. I heard them spell the exact location. And he's ready. This score smells bigger than the Mill Van's Gate one. I wager we'll be richer than kings. Get your gear in order, you two! We're coming during the first skiff we lay eyes on! Well, I don't think Wasbrim is down for this. I feel like he got roped into something more than he bargained for. But be that as it may, let's head off to Yedlamad. Hit the dog sink. Hit the ground running. Oh, there. Yeah, Kalika's even been given a little makeshift nest. There you are. Did you spy the commotion on your way here? He's like, what commotion? It seems a trio of us scoundrels absconded with one of the smaller ships. The radiant host is attempting to track them down, but the sea is lost and the thieves long gone. Let us give thanks that they did not choose our vessel. Ah yes, Marcia wanted me to tell you that he has returned to Akiali to wrap up some loose ends with his work while you make ready to depart. Now that you've arrived, I shall send word. Karika and I may be staying behind, but that doesn't mean we can't make ourselves useful. We've given the skipper directions to Alo Alo Island and she is confident that she can deliver you there without issue. The rest depends on you, my friend. We'll do what we can. Oh, and that's the person who's going to be taking us to Alo Alo Island. So, yeah, let's go ahead and dress for battle. And for some reason, I don't have my boots on. <laughs> I have no idea why. Okay, so let's go ahead and access the B and C. Because now we have... Matsya's place, Alo Alo Island. It's gotta be lower than at least 605, but you max that at 665. 
And in the meantime, I will be changing my actions to add rays just in case we need it. So let's hope we get a party soon and start seeing what this place is all about. As soon as we hear the ship reaching shore... Rain has subsided, and Matsya seems to be happy to be here, but let's see just how well myself and my party does as we take on Alo Alo Island. Yeah, I'm okay with whatever path we take for round one. Matsya wants to go left. But we go left too? Nope, seems like we're going down the middle first. And let's do it. Yeah, it's my first time here, so the path we take doesn't really matter. As we make our way starting in a swamp. It's, they would not make good bait there, Matsya, you're right. Okay. You gotta be careful here. There we go. That's Forge Onward. Now let's be gonna deal with a frog as well as some carnivorous plants. Get in here and bring the pain. Yeah, the frog wanted to shove its nose wherever it wants. Here. Just throw that all in your face. The frog. And now just one. Causes the logs to tumble. Yeah, the foliage is pretty beautiful. Lots of impressive flora. But it's the fauna that we're worried about. Including this thing. Yes, yeah, an animal plant hybrid. Get right behind it. Work, which means I can drop a star diver and a dragon fire die. Alright, show me what you got. Here we go. Almost got the big guy. Down it goes. All right. Coming up to mini boss number one. Yeah, look who's there to greet us. It's Ijame. Yeah, he said the island was deserted. Yeah, it turns out she can conjure up monsters. So all the stuff that we're gonna have to deal with as far as main bosses are concerned are all by these thieves. We gotta deal with their crap. We gotta watch out for some arcane armaments here. 
they get powered up. Those we can't stand there. So now this is going to be a circle. So I should expect to, yep. Let's go. Now what have you got? Got dice roll. And now it's gonna start knocking us back. Jump on his head. Oh, well, we've already got it past half health, so that's good. Get in there. There we go. Any more trickery and fantastic AOE that we're gonna deal with. Yes, there's spears of water. We don't wanna be under the end of those. We'll stick around for a while. We need to run over to here. Because this is what trips me and my party up the first time I came through while testing. You gotta follow the length of the rotation. You gotta stay ahead enough, but not too far ahead. So the bench gets to the point where it's completely made a 90 degree turn. There's no healer, so I gotta cast rays. Be able to get it off, and yes. Just in time to run each other this crap. Okay, now we're gonna have to uh, deal with some trouble. And it's branching out in five different directions. But we're right at the end. And there it goes. I'll tell that to the summoner who was not so fortunate. Alright, let's climb. Yeah, don't look down. <laughs> We're really climbing up here. And yeah, we're dealing with caterpillars. Make sure you don't eat them. <laughs> yeah, we saw what happened in Heaven's Ward. Not just only the team, but they tried to eat the caterpillars. It didn't go very well for them. Where are you going? Yeah, tank's kind of losing control here. Meanwhile, just like over in Mount Rokan, we have some very beautiful music being played. Choice of the main, we're going this way. Well, it seemed like the tank wanted to go a different direction. I was just following the person who was taking the lead. Wasn't that what we were supposed to do? 
I mean, they are enemies. Shouldn't we be fighting them? Unless she's according to something, he or she is according to something else altogether. This right through you into the air. Drop on the fire. Blast you in years, Kogol. You're just getting all of it right now. And that takes care of you. Next up. Yeah, this almost feels like Genshin Impact in a way. It kind of feels like the area over in, um... Uh, it's not coming to me right now. Sumeru. It feels like Sumeru. It's gonna come to me eventually. Just had to run through the various places I've been. Wrong button. Good thing you can't fall off here. That's very useful. Oh, don't go hide. Oh, Almost got it. There we go. Onward. Destination awaits for the final boss. Yeah, but Mats is here for the water. But before he can get access to said water, we gotta see what we're fighting. And descending from the heavens is this thing. The Lala is what he's known as. It's not a Lala Fell, but he's known as a Lala. Well, quite an introduction. I'm ready when you are, everyone. Let's do this. First attempt at a final boss here at Ala Lala Island. I guess the sacredness of this place is still in effect. Deal with divinities here. Or the danger there. How about the party with a little battle let me? We gotta avoid these squares, because the arrows are showing us where they're going. Wait for the move. There we go. Oh. Long side of that. No, 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 not yet, not yet. Oh, crap. I pulled the trigger and paid the price for going too soon. Crap. And I highly doubt anyone has a raise on them. Oh, someone does. But it's gonna take a while to get there. So now you're gonna have to. The machinists is also gonna have to heal themselves. Oh, someone else got it. Oh. Yeah, the summoner can raise two. Yeah, I think they just realized, oh yeah, I can do that. But I need to heal myself right away. Friends on the outside. Try and run away. Watch out for the tank cluster. Here we go. Start Ivor to get back into this game. Swing 
this way. Nope. Yeah, the arrows were indicating that he was gonna take us out and go a different direction, but nope. Now we got this fancy mechanic. You might remember it from the battle in. Um, yeah, let this be your final testament. And, um, or Bond. Here, if I don't kill myself fast enough, I'm gonna get killed by this. Maybe, maybe not. We gotta pull it over here. You know, it's a calculated trajectory. Alright, how am I gonna be faked out here? Oh no! I'm dead! I'm somehow not dead! How am I not dead? Oh, that was a big escape somehow. I literally ran into death itself. But the game showed mercy. I like those things. One says run this way, so that's what we're doing. Alright, now I'll try it. Yeah, that's what I would have done before, but unfortunately I couldn't see myself from stopping it initially, but we got it. We won. Everyone takes their spoils and heads on their way. Now Matsu can fish at his leisure. So yeah, he's just gonna walk right over here and whip out his fishing rod and start casting into the little pond here. What was that saying? I couldn't understand the word. What's... I wonder what thing you're talking about. Oh, he got a bite! What did he get? Just seaweed. I imagine that's not the only thing that'll be caught there. You'll probably have to contend with all the levy pads too. Not the most exciting catch, but I'm grateful that you've come this that he's come this far. So once we return to the mainland, let's go and speak with Pasa soon. Welcome back, Rika. Your journey to the island has left you none the worse for well, I am pleased to see. Well, I cannot wait to hear the full account. I'm sure you wish to take your ease after such a trying expedition. Matia has gone ahead to find a place we can sit, converse in peace. Let us go to him. Alright. Yeah, it's been quite a rainy day all day in Radzathan and in Thavnir. But at least we're dry. Not that we're all comfortable. <laughs> There was danger and death around every corner, though that rather grim aspect was mitigated somewhat by the incredible beauty. As we flash back. When I spied the towering tree at the island's heart, I was reminded of Kadka. Did the ancient peoples live beneath its boughs? Indeed they did. It was within the welcome shade where wise sages refined complex equations. Not unlike your great work, where Pasa soon tempers his knowledge of alchemy. Which brings us back over here. It was a journey full of twists, turns, and fish besides. I'm glad I was compelled to embark upon it with Rika, but glad still to be home. Ah, but I trust you understand this was but the first of many, yes? A single hunt will not suffice to keep Alawalo's many predators in check. Do not forget its waters are teeming with fish rare and remarkable, all of which will make fine gifts for your near de dear, he dear Nidhana. So please, you must promise me that this expedition will not be your last. Uh, yes, of course, but I wouldn't dare brave Aluwalu alone. No, you need strong allies. 
Rika, I hate to impose upon you further, but I would be most grateful to have your resolute company again. For Kalika and Nidana both. I think I can do that. Oh, thank you, thank you. With luck, your appetite for adventure will be seated. I know my own will be a thousand times over. I only hope other treasure hunters haven't caught wind of the island's many curiosities. Those ruffians we faced and the wooden beast they set upon us were not complications I'd rather not contend with again. People? In Alawala? How odd! To say nothing of this wooden beast! To command such constructs requires an, in an intimate knowledge of Arcanima. Perhaps these thieves you encountered were a step above common riffraff. Perhaps they lurked in shadow as I spoke carelessly of Alawala's secrets. <laughs> I guess so. The meaning? The stolen ship from before. I'll report this to the Radiant Host just in case Kalika's hunch is correct. Thank you, Pasasun. Whoever they are, we must see them in chains before they defile my home again. Oh, if only my wings were healed, I would give them a buffeting they would not soon forget. Yeah, I guess. Would it be enough? Meanwhile... Now, enough talk of adventure. My fish won't sell themselves. Yeah, good luck to you on the sales there, Matsya. Thank you, Rika, for everything. Especially for keeping Matsya safe. For my part, I must write down your tale before it fades from my memory. Who knows, my records may prove useful when next you visit Alo Alo Island. I take it you'll be returning to Old Shalion soon. When you do, please give Shalom more my regards. You got it there, Pasa soon. Yeah, and you can keep little Kalika safe. Alright, so let's head on back to Old Shalion then. So let's see what Shalomor has to say on this night in Charlian. She returns! I trust this means Pasasun and Matsu's troubles have been resolved to their satisfaction? To an extent, yes. The South Sea Isles? Ah, oh, what the heck could have been there to walk amidst such verdant beauty? I dare say I'm green with envy. Your uncle's the darn friend sounds like he made for fine company too. To brave mysterious wilds in search of fish for your beloved, the stakes turned out to be far higher than I realized. In any event, while any obligation to Matsya has been arguably bet, I encourage you to aid him in his quest for new and exciting fish. Who knows what dazzling specimens are yet to be waiting to be discovered in the waters of Alo Alo Island. Oh, and if you can spare a moment for Austin, he will doubtless be eager to hear all about your experience as well. Cheers to a job, odd job well done. Thank you very much. So, for completing our first trick across Alo Alo Island, we'll take 5,055 gills. And we also have a conservation record. This is similar to the other variant dungeons that we've seen, where you take different paths and different locations, and you will be able to unlock more of the journal. And of course, Osman is there to allow you to take access to the harder version of the islands, but of course, we're not doing those, we're just going to focus on the three main paths here tonight.